You may be familiar with the Isa brothers and their role as the twins responsible for the 6.8 billion pounds buyout of retail giant Asda. Mohsin and Zubair Isa, who are brothers and currently reside in Blackburn, got their start in the business by purchasing a single gas station in Bury for the price of 150,000 pounds. Since then, they have grown their business into an ever-expanding empire that spans multiple continents and employs thousands of people. According to the 2022 edition of the Sunday Times Rich List, two billionaire brothers are believed to have a combined fortune of approximately 4.73 billion pounds. You have to be thinking, how could they? Now that I have your attention, let's find out the real story behind Issa Brothers' growing wealth. Mohsin Issa and Zubair, his younger brother, were born in Blackburn in the early 1970s. Mohsin was the older of the two. Their parents, Vali and Zubeda, emigrated to the United Kingdom from Gujarat, India, in the preceding decade. Initially settling in Bradford, they found employment in the textile sector there before transitioning their focus to the operation of a gas station. The brothers claimed that the inspiration to turn the gas station into a shopping attraction struck them when they were using the facilities at the gas station. The Esser brothers' thinking was that selling gasoline did not offer a significant opportunity for financial gain, but that the location offered a captive market consisting of motorists and passengers. Mohsin, 49, and Zuber, 48, launched their business in a garage that was purchased by their father, who had previously worked in a woolen mill. They initially began by leasing a gas station for a period of two years. Then, in 2001, they founded Euro Garages by purchasing their first forecourt for the price of £150,000 at a vacant freehold location in Bury. Their transfer occurred at the same time as an attempt by oil majors to dispose of their forecourts, and the brothers made the most of the opportunity they were given. Issa Brothers continued to spread Euro garages around the nation, snatching up forecourt locations here and there wherever they spotted an opening. They refreshed and modernized their websites, which in most cases had become stale and out of date, and created agreements with well-known brands such as Subway and Starbucks. By 2015, the company had reached such a level of success and growth that it attracted the interest of the prominent private equity firm TDR Capital. The corporation, which already has notable holdings such as David Lloyd Leisure, Keyboat Homes, and Stonemate Pub Company in its portfolio, has purchased a stake in the business in question. This action marked the beginning of a collaboration that would dramatically improve the brothers' company's financial situation. The first significant shift didn't occur for another year when Euro Garages purchased the European Forecourt Retail Group with its headquarters in the Netherlands to become Intervius Group, which was later rebranded as the EG Group. Before being purchased by TDR Capital in 2014, the company had been in operation since 2007 and served as the energy retail and marketing arm of Delic Group across Europe. At that time, EFR was made up of more than 1,100 retail locations in Benelux and France. Consequently, the private equity firm acquired a 50% stake in the newly established group, with each of the ISA brothers retaining a 25% stake. However, that was merely the beginning of the brothers and their private equity partners' projected expansion of the business. Today, E Group has approximately 5,900 locations in Europe and the United States. In addition to its fuel retail brands, SOBP and Shell, the company also operates a number of other well known brands, including Starbucks, Subway, Greg's, KFC, Burger King, and Carrefour. The business completed the acquisition of around 1,000 forecourt locations from Esso in Germany in November 2017. Then in February of the following year, they reached an agreement on a $2.15 billion purchase of nearly 800 Kroger convenience stores. Throughout the later part of the same month, the company announced that it had successfully finalized the acquisition of around 1,200 locations in Italy from Esso. In April of 2018, EG Group successfully completed the acquisition of a portfolio consisting of 97 sites in the Netherlands. Subsequently, in November of 2018, Woolworths, an Australian retailer, entered into a binding agreement with EG Group to sell its 540 fuel convenience sites to EG Group for a total of $1.72 billion. One month later, EG successfully finalized the acquisition of 225 Minute Mart locations from Travel Centers of America LLC in exchange for about $330 million. In the month of July 2019, EG successfully completed the acquisition of 54 Fast Track branded sites in the United States and announced a contract to acquire 69 sites that certified oil ran in the same country. In the same month, EG Group entered a legally binding agreement to purchase Cumberland Farms. One year later, in March of 2020, EG Group became KFC's largest franchisee in the United Kingdom by purchasing 145 KFC restaurants in the United Kingdom and Ireland. 
In addition, the group announced in the previous year that they would be opening 150 American bakery locations in conjunction with Cinnamon by the year 2025. But none of those transactions were nearly as significant as the one that was just around the corner. And that was ASDA. Since 1999, the grocery behemoth has been owned by the American retailer Walmart. The Iser Brothers and TDR Capital have teamed together to acquire the business in October 2020 for £6.8 billion. The transaction was finalized earlier this year following EQ Group's agreement in February to purchase Aza's Four Courts division for a total price of £750 million. After the Competitions and Markets Authority rejected Asda's merger with Sainsbury's, the brothers made their move for Asda. This merger is best remembered for Sainsbury's CEO Mike Coop being filmed singing We're in the Money after the deal was initially announced. The brothers made their move for Asda after this deal was rejected. Since the announcement of the deal with Asda, the group has also entered into a binding agreement for the acquisition of 18 locations of Schrader Oil in Fort Collins, Colorado, and has also purchased Leon restaurants for a total of £100 million. Both of these deals were completed after the ASA deal was made public. As a result of the brothers' achievements with EG Group, they have also entered into commercial partnerships with other companies. In addition to purchasing ASDA, the ISA brothers have made an investment in Castor, a rapidly expanding sports gear firm. The next target they are going to pitch is Boots. They are not frightened by the high street pharmaceutical giant's rumored price tag of £7 billion because it is only a little bit higher than the amount they paid for ASDA, which was £6.8 billion. They finalized that acquisition in February of the previous year and are already causing a commotion in the supermarket chain by working to enhance the food's quality and opening as a convenience stores that operate independently. A couple of months following the acquisition, the brothers who were born in Blackburn slipped into Leon. They purchased the fast food company for almost 100 million pounds and opened the first Leon drive through in Leeds in the month of November. The Asa brothers' combined wealth is estimated to be 4.68 billion British pounds as of today, as stated by the Sunday Times Rich List, which was published in May 2021.